So uh, we have talked about how we can determine a present value and how we can go about discounting cash flows uh, before, but we only did this in a very simple setting where our cash flows were only occurring in a one period setting. So very quickly, you might recall that uh, finding out the future value of any known amount just one year out into the future is simply present value so whatever amount we have in the present multiplying it by one plus r and at that time we said that look if you know of some amount that you have in the present and if you want to find out how much it's going to be worth one year like one year into the future just multiply it by one plus r and using that uh, argument we said that look what if instead you knew how much you are going to get one year out into the future what if you wanted to find out what its worth is in the present uh, the way we said was, well, just rearrange this. Uh, so present value would be whatever it is that you would be getting one year out into the future divided by one plus R. And so we've talked about how R is our opportunity cost. And therefore, this is the rate at which we are discounting our cash flows into the future. Well, now we are extending that analysis into a multi-period setting. Instead of just going one year out into the future, we now have established that uh, if we can determine the future value of any amount t years out into the future, all that we need to do is just take the present value and do one plus r raised to the power t. So now if we wanted to go in this opposite direction, and so what I mean by that is that if we were if we knew of some amount that we are getting t years out into the future, like if the future value was known, and if we were interested in finding out the present value of that amount, well that would just involve rearranging this equation now, which if you just do the simple rearranging, we're saying that present value of any uh, known future value that is t years out in the future all that you have to do is just divide it by 1 plus r raised to the power t um, so it's the more general formula which already captures this right so if the if t took on a value of 1 then 1 plus r raised to the power 1 would just give you well 1 plus r so this is the more general formula so we're going to very quickly implement this in a very simple setting so let's suppose uh, that you will definitely receive ten thousand uh, dollars three years from today so this is three years out into the future if it is known that banks are paying an annual interest rate of five percent how much is this ten thousand dollars worth to you today uh, it is it is convenient to represent this using a timeline I highly recommend that you try to uh, capture these sort of questions using a timeline it really helps and so if you are representing today by time period zero and this is one two uh, three then what we're saying is that three years out into the future we will be getting ten thousand dollars uh, and so the question is what is this amount worth in the present and so the formula that we just saw right here is that take the future value that we have three years out in the future so t is three which means that we will just have one plus r raised to the power three here and so here uh, we'll simply say present value is uh, ten thousand dollars which is you know how much this amount is three years out into the future all that we will do is just divide that by 1.05 uh, raised to the power 3 which uh, if we do the math will come out to eight thousand six hundred and thirty eight point three seven uh, so we're saying, look, if, if somebody is giving us $10,000 three years out in the future, it is as if that person is giving us $8,638.37 today. Why? Because if we had, if we had uh, $8,638.37 8, here, we could ourselves deposit this in the bank at a rate of 5%, which means that three years out into the future the future value of this amount three years out into the future would be eight thousand six hundred and thirty eight point three seven into one point zero five raised to the power three which by definition again if you do this math will will exactly ten thousand so so basically what we're saying is that 
the reason why this ten thousand dollars is only worth eight thousand six thirty eight point three seven to us today because if we had this amount today then we ourselves could have gotten this ten thousand uh, three years into the future uh, by investing at a rate of five percent